What up? What is going on, ladies and gentlemen? It's your boy Jess, and welcome to the Eddie Lacy Show. I'm sorry. Welcome to Draft Champions. <laughs> this is our second game of this season. We won the first one by pounding it with Eddie Lacy. So, of course, we have the same game plan. What's the game plan, Jess? It's easy, my man. Give it to Eddie Lacy. As you see, we're going up against Steven Atwater. He's got a flashback. He's got Sherman. And I'm like, oh, my God. I have yet to be given a flashback. I have yet to be given an elite quarterback. I have yet to be given. I come on, man. Why are you going to do this to me, man? Now I'm kind of scared to run the ball with Eddie Lacy. You seen all them goons he got on defense? And um, we're definitely hoping we can go on ahead and have some success. Some success. But what's even uh, a little more uh, interesting about this video is if you look at the top right, we are going up against Jimmy McQuid. If you guys watch our live streams, you know Jimmy McQuid, also known as Jimmy McSquid, is uh, he, he's one of our, our, um, our, what is the word I'm looking for? Like, our usuals. You know what I mean? He's always in the stream showing love and support, man. Sorry, this Irish bastard. Has been showing support for so long. Right there. <laughs> it was a screenplay. And he just chucked it up there. For I don't know what. I, he said he hit the wrong button. I didn't realize I was playing him. And so I looked at the top right. I was like, oh, snap. It's, it's it's Squid. It's the Squid. I'm going up against Jimmy. And um, Jimmy's the homie. That's my brother. It just so happens we happen to go up against each other. And uh, he's a big Jets fan. You know, like I said, he's, he's out there in Ireland. Uh, still watching American football like a beast. Uh, so we go up 10-0, and uh, this is actually the first time I've matched up against them. Now, he, as me, got pretty much nothing but defensive players in the draft and not too much to work with on offense. So our offense are it's pretty butt cheeks, and uh, we send a little B-gap. You see, you see we, 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 uh, we found some blitzes from last year to be working. Actually, that B-gap, I think I found on Twitter. Someone's like, hey, yo, GS, try this. And I'm like, oh, snap, let me try it. And I did, and it worked. B-gap, don't judge me. Um, right here underneath play. And uh, we're just trying to prevent him from getting into scoring range. There he goes. 19-yard drop back. Decides to take off. I'm trying to chase him. <laughs> we're trying to get there, man. I tried to, <laughs> I tried to gnaw on them ankles, but I, I couldn't quite get there enough. So Colt McCoy is his quarterback. And uh, he, he says that he wasn't really given an option in the draft at all. Like, it was just nothing but defensive studs. Same thing for me. All I really got. Did, is this the draft with Julian Tom? I don't know. All I pretty much got is Lacey. Big snag right there, right over the top. He ends up holding on to it, and it looks like he's going to go on ahead and score. So, of course, I'm going to try and call a timeout, try and give me a little bit of time, see if I can march downfield and go on ahead and um, retaliate. So, it's now a three-point ball game. I do get ball at halftime, though. So, we're going to go into the half with at least a three-point lead, but, of course, I want to add on to that, give me a little breathing room. Uh, right here, we decide to roll out. I don't know what the hell it is I'm doing. I just chucked the ball up, and it didn't work out for me. Same way he chucked it out on that screen, and it was a horrible decision. I just chucked it up there. Horrible decision. I gave him 30 seconds to work with. And it looks like he's possibly going to get in field goal range. Yeah, he's, like, almost there, and he's got all the timeouts. It's not looking good for us. We need something to go our way. Baby, won't you come my way? Why doesn't somebody timestamp that, you timestamp ambassadors? Why does nobody be like, beautiful, angelic, godlike voice at whatever point I would started singing? Why don't I get that? Why am I looking at a video timestamp? You know, Teddy Bridgewater left, 308. Touchdown by LaDainian Thomason, 4012. It's like, what? All these timestamps, man. You timestamping bootlegging bastards. All right, so we're up 10 7 and we get the ball back. But wait, there's more. Our game plan here is to not let Squiddy touch the ball for the remainder of the game. I do not have sexual relations with that woman. So here we go, just dunking and dinking, giving the ball to Eddie Lacey and trying to kill the clock, man. You know how it is when I get the ball. Um, up, you know, if I'm up in the game with the ball, oh, it's true. Oh, I'm chewing. I'm I'm a true clocking bastard. You better ask about me. You better ask about me. Oh, I'm chewing. I don't give a damn what you say. I don't give a damn. You can hate me. You can despise me. You can call me names. I'm, I don't give a. I don't care. I don't chew clock is what I do. Why you do that, Jess? Because if I got the ball, you don't got the ball. And if you don't got the ball. My defense ain't on the field. And if my defense ain't on the field, I got a good chance of winning. I don't like my defense on the field. You like my defense on the field because I'm easy to score on. I know this, which is why I got to try and keep them off the field. He has yet to touch the ball. We milked the entire third quarter. And that is what it is I set out to do. Game plan was not let this man touch the ball. 
Keep it underground. Oh, we're milking. We brought it all the way down to the two-minute warning. I don't care what you see. Some people are going to leave it in the comment section making fun of me. I don't give a... I don't care, man. This is how I play. Don't give me the ball plus... You know, don't give me lead plus ball. I'm chewing clock. That's what I do. I've been doing this ever, every match since forever. And we went the entire second half without this young man touching the ball once. That's execution. You know how difficult it is to have the ball for eight minutes and not let it touch once? Not once? Not once? <laughs> That's a lot of first downs. That's a lot of third down conversions. That's a lot of chew clock. That's what I do, baby. But wait, there's more. What up? Oh, why am I doing the intro? You guys already know. <laughs> what you guys are looking is the Mr. Golden Sports Fan Duel League. I'm actually going to do my lineup right here, right now, live for you beautiful bastards, man. Link is in the description. Make sure you use code GoldenGS so they can go on ahead and... Um, they can what you call it what you call it they can match your deposit anywhere from 10 to 200 up to 200 dollars. they will match you can see my balance is 10 and uh when you click here it says pending balance 10 so that bad boy is going to be thrown in there uh very soon so um it's a 15 person league to find it all you got to do is go to um after you sign up use your boy's code and then go to um actually let's just go let's just start over so you guys can actually find it uh go to fanduel.com just go to games go to leagues go to thursday right here and then just search for mr golden sports and then you'll find it right here um it, it's a two dollar entry fee and uh the top three winners win prize and the number one overall winner will win a muck card uh, flashback Chris Johnson has gone for more than 400k right now in the Xbox one whoever is the first overall winner will receive that card so uh, let's go ahead and do our lineup again link is in the description man if you guys are unfamiliar with FanDuel man it's a very fun new way to play fantasy you do it weekly like I said the minimum is $10 deposit and they will match anywhere from 10 to uh, to 200 you can play for free you can play as little as $1 games you can play uh, you know, uh, there's bigger leagues. I'm personally running um, running a two dollar league and join. <laughs> Link is in the description. I'm gonna be doing videos on updates and stuff like that, so I'm excited. I will be showing you guys who else is in the league. So uh, there's not too many spots open, but I'm gonna be doing this every single week. So if you guys join, you guys use uh, my code. Take a screenshot of that and hit me up on Twitter and let me know. That way, I can get you a slot. In either the week that I'm doing or the following week. I will definitely get a slot for you. So uh, here we go. We are going to start with um, quarterbacks. Okay, so Aaron Rodgers is 9,700. He's going up against Green Bay. I mean, he's going up against Chicago. I like Andrew Luck against Buffalo. They got Peyton Manning. I don't really like the Baltimore matchup. Baltimore just always seems to do good against Peyton Manning. Drew Brees against Arizona, that could be a slugfest. I could see a lot of passes, but they don't, they don't got Jimmy Graham anymore. Uh, we're going to go Andrew Luck. Okay, running backs. God, don't. God forgive me, but I got to go AP. And I'm also going to go uh, Eddie Lacy. Where's Lacy at? Where's Lacy? Lacy. I'm also going Eddie Lacy. With no... Um, with no Nelson, Jordy Nelson, I think Eddie Lacy is just going to be a bit, you know, more of a factor. Uh, okay, we get three wide receivers. So I'm going to go on ahead and I'm going to get, I'm going to go OBJ. I'm going to go Calvin. And where is, um, hmm. let me see, let me see if I can search by just Green Bay. Find everybody who got green. Oh, there we go. Devontae Adams. Yep. I feel like he's going to be good. Uh, he's only 5'5 five, five right now. You know, without Jordy Nelson being there, he moves up in the depth chart, and I could see him potentially having himself the big game. So right now, we need a tight end. We don't have much remaining. We only got... So this is... If you guys are interested in how it works, there's a salary cap. You have 60K to spend, and obviously the top players cost the most, and the guys who are projected to do the best are going to cost you the most. So at some point, it's going to get tough. <laughs> So, right here, I got to go budget tight end. You know, I, I got to go with somebody, um, you know, that's uh, a good deal. Who I feel like is going to do good for the low. Because I only got 8K to spend. Never hold on. Let me go uh, Let me go defense. I know I definitely want Seattle defense. They're going up against uh, St. Louis. And I want that to happen. Uh, you see, I think I, think I got to get rid of Andrew Luck, though. I think I got to get rid of Andrew Luck. Because I want to go Matt Bryant. And that doesn't leave me much. 
Yeah, we're going to need a, a, a cheaper quarterback. We can't go luck. Okay, we got Tom Brady. He's 84. We got Eli. We got Flacco. We got Rivers. Rivers against Detroit. And... Matthew Stafford against San Diego. RG3, Teddy Bridgewater, Mariana, Garoppolo. Okay. Um, hmm. You know, let's pick a tight end. That way I know how much I got to spend with the... Uh, yeah, the minimum is 4500 So, yes, yeah, so I got to make some more downgrades. See, this is where it gets tough. You know what I mean? Like, you got to... Shoot. Um, <laughs> so, we got to get them around 5 We got to go with the minimum. The kicker's minimum, they're all like 4500 I'd much rather spend, you know. Gronkowski's obviously going to be the most expensive. They got Bennett. They got Olsen. Jason Witten, he's Miller. Cameron. Jason Witten against Dallas. I mean against the Giants. I really I really like Witten. Witten just I don't know. I always like when New York goes up against uh, that's why I got o OBJ and Cout. I mean uh OBJ. Wait, wait, didn't I go uh wait, 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 wait. I think I wanted Dez, not OBJ. I think I wanted to go Dez. Let's go Dez and Calvin instead of OBJ. Because something about Dallas going up against New York, I just really like. So QB, we got 3,800. Clearly, we can't afford a QB at this point. So we're going to have to do a downgrade somewhere else. Uh, shoot. Let's, let's take a look at defense. I just feel like Seattle is going to murder the Rams. Okay, we got the Vikings against San Francisco. I don't really see us doing much, man. Our our team is so bad right now. We got the Steelers against New England, New Orleans, eh. Baltimore Ravens, the Redskins, the Cowboys, Lions, the Rams, Patriots, Eagles at Atlanta, the Jets against Cleveland. You know, let's go Jets. I like that matchup. I like that matchup. All right, we got 4,400. We still can't afford that. Um, let's take a look at running backs, man. I'm probably going to have to downgrade from AP and go elsewhere. I, I, I'm definitely keeping Lacey. Lacey isn't going anywhere. I'm definitely keeping Lacey, but I probably have to try and get more of a... Uh, try and save more and not go AP. Okay, we got LaShawn McCoy. Uh, okay, if we went DeMarco, that gives us 5,100. What QBs can we afford for 5100 Nothing. These guys aren't even starting, so... Dang it, man. We need these upgrades. I mean, these downgrades, man. Okay, Matt Ryan. Let's get rid of Matt Ryan. I thought I was on to something, man, but I'm not. But I'm not. And by the way, man, if you guys want to get into this league, um, you only have three days to join. Only three days to join this league. Okay, um, Mike Nugent... What's the cheapest kicker? I just need a kicker at this point. They're, see, they're all 4,500. Who's who's that 4,500? Okay. Hmm. 4,600. See, that saves us 300. That's still not enough. Okay, we got to get rid of DeMarco. We, got, we need a... We need a running back that I feel like is going to do. How about Randall? Joseph Randall, 6,900. Going up against. Uh, hmm. I can see Rand Plus, I got Randall on my other fantasy team. So, you guys are going to kill me in the comment section saying how bad I did. Don't, 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 don't hurt my feelings, guys. We're going to go Randall. Joseph Randall. Oh, I already got him. Okay. So that gives me 7K. So we got Joseph Randall. We got Eddie Lacy. We got Des Bryant, Calvin, Devontae Adams, Jason Winton, Matt Prater, and the Jets defense. A QB at this point. QB at this point. Who can I afford for this much? Okay. We can get Garoppolo. We can get. None of these guys are starting, man. All right, what's the minimum I need for a starter? 
Jeez, man, we need to downgrade some more, bruh. Okay. Probably have to get rid of Dez, man, but I know Dez is gonna go off, man. I know Dez is gonna go off. Jeremy Macklin, Brandon Marshall, eh. What's Fitzgerald? He's, he's got a... Uh... Okay, Larry Fitzgerald is 2K. We're gonna go Larry Fitzgerald. He's got, um... Carson Palmer back. I'm just gonna hope for the best, man. Listen, I got I gotta try and fit some guys in here, bro. Okay, now I can get any quarterback in the league at this point. And at this point, I might as well just go Aaron Rodgers. I'd might as well max out at the top QB. Or like if I go Andrew Luck, that gives me 500 remaining. And that gives me 6,500 for wide receiver. But let's see, is there anybody 6,500 that's worth getting? I could get Mike Wall. Yeah, no, we're fine with that. All right, that's going to be our lineup right there. Um, all right, we're going to enter. We're going to enter the league. That's our team going into it, fellas. Again, sign up. Link is in the description. Use our code, man. You will have $10 deposited um, up to uh, 200 This, unfortunately, is our team. <laughs> Pray for me, y'all. Pray for me. If you guys want to challenge me and all the other folks. See, these, these are the winners, by the way. First place gets $13.50 with well, $2. You can't go wrong, right? Um, second place gets $8. And then third gets $5.50. Also, whoever wins the $13.50 will get a flashback Chris Johnson. Link is in the description. Click that bad boy. Join. Join my league. I'm going to be doing this all year. And I got to prove to you guys that I can beat each and every single one of you bums in fantasy football. That's the end of the video, fellas. Hopefully, you guys enjoy. Peace.